I hand-baked these desserts myself three months in advance. They may be a little hard by now, but not to worry. If you chip a tooth, I know a sensational dentist. <laughs> 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 A cookie a day keeps the doctor away. All the good things from Greece rolled into a salad. Great! This is another page from my book of knowledge. Just a few moments, we'll climb into the basket and turn the burners on high. We will then slowly drift into the sky where we will begin our journey over the Masai Mara National Reserve toward Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria is the world's second largest freshwater lake. It is second only to Lake Superior, which, needless to say, is superior. Oh, foo! We lost the lever that turns a burner on. I need something to replace it. No, no, this is not good news, folks.
Oh no, it looks like the beak of a bird. How sad. I am the lion, the king of beasts. Us lions travel in prides with sometimes as many as 37 lions. The females never leave the pride. They're much smaller and they hunt in groups. In general, they are far less independent than males. Leo, dinner, now. Coming, dear heart. I'm a zebra. I'm an herbivore. I eat plants. But that doesn't stop the carnivorous animals from trying to eat me. Luckily, my stripes confuse predators when they're running after me. The elephant is the largest living land mammal. Did you know that? Did you? We're a highly intelligent sort, which has gotten us nowhere, really. Only led to our being widely used in circuses. Sadly, we are an endangered species. Some humans are so fond of our ivory tusks that they feel the need to hunt and kill us for them. It's illegal, but poachers still continue to do it. Quirky creatures, those humans. I'm a rhinoceros, a strict vegetarian, believe it or not. Did you know three out of the five species of rhinos are now nearing extinction? Humans like to hunt us for our horns, which they believe have all sorts of magical powers. You can imagine how irritating we find this. The giraffe is the tallest animal in the world, sometimes growing to 18 feet. With a neck this long, you must be wondering about my tongue. <laughs> It's a foot and a half long, dearie. Read it and weep. Welcome to the Maasai Mara National Reserve, straddling Kenya and Tanzania. Here you can witness the annual wildebeest migration. Every year, about a million of us storm into the reserve here during the dry season. Many of us will become food for the lions and hyenas, but such is life. Pink, pink panther? Is that you? I don't believe it! Look at this guy! Hey, fellas, come meet my cousin! Looking good, looking good. I don't believe it! Big Hollywood star! Out here in the middle of the jungle! <laughs> Look at you, all pink! Still got your roar? Eh? Oh, I don't know. It's been a while. I bet you don't have much use for it on your fancy TV show or your fancy pants interactive CD-ROM games. I love your work, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Come on! For old time's sake, get primeval for us, eh? Well, maybe just one little one. He still got it! <laughs> ah, I'm a hyena! Not the most likable fella you're gonna meet out here! <laughs> I'll eat anything dead, <laughs> alive, <laughs> unattended babies, what have you! <laughs> Hi there! I'm a cheetah! An endangered species, as it were. Cheetahs are the fastest living land animal on the planet! I can run about 68 miles an hour without breaking a sweat! See ya! A giving tree. from the missionary. Enough is enough. All the worms that if the Maasai did not assimilate, they would surely become extinct. The Maasai are highly adaptable, just not to your ways. When need be, we stop herding to hunt. When need be, we stop hunting to plant. We support our communities and help each through emutai. Emutai? Emutai means the time of disasters. And my people have seen many, but none like the period in the 19th century, where drought, famine, and smallpox plagued our people. 
Rinderpest and bovine pleuronomonia devastated our cattle. The Maasai survived despite it all and continue to thrive today. So long as we have our cattle, all must be well. How is it that the Maasai have such a serious collection of cattle? It seems like every Maasai herds cattle. How did that come to be? Let them tell you. Sing it, guys. The first Maasai was a man they called Masinta. Got spoken to Masinta and said he'd send him down some cows. Send him some cows. God told Masinta build a cattle enclosure. That's the thing we call a crowd. And before you know it, God told Masinta. There'll be cattle on the ground The first Maasai Was a man they called Masinta And God spoke unto Masinta And said he'd send him down some cows Send him some cows Now Masinta thanked in return he'd seek, and God told Macenta, Hey, it's on the house. But God also warned Macenta of one other thing. He said, Don't make a sound or a peek. Cattle streamed down right from the sky. It was the strangest thing to see. A nearby hunter let loose a big cry. Masinta thought, I hope God don't think that was me. But he did. Now the myth is not the only reason Masai herd cattle. It makes sense ecologically too. For moving around, seeking water and fresh food keeps nomad people healthy too. Masinta. I am a man today, fully initiated into manhood. That is why my head is shaved and dipped in red ochre. Soon I will be able to marry. Congratulations in advance. I am a man today, fully initiated into manhood. That is why my head is shaved and dipped in red ochre. Soon I will be able to marry. Congratulations in advance. Today should be a joyful day, but my cattle are thirsty and I must lead them to water. They are very hungry and I must lead them to pasture. But my wife has just had a baby and that should be celebrated with blood and meat. But I cannot inflict such needs on my weakened cattle. Surely one of my neighbors would donate a bull to slaughter. But everyone is off in more fertile lands. Why not serve up a goat or a sheep? Those animals are eaten every day. On the day of the precious birth, a sacred cattle should be eaten. Or even a part of a sacred cattle. Maybe you could donate something. Maybe I can find something.
just thought I'd drop in. Are you the god of wind? No. Then we're not interested.
You aren't by any chance the carriers of the human soul. Nope. We're the boogies. The fierce boogies. Gypsy sea traders and navigators of even the most ferocious monsoon. Needless to say, it takes a little wind to make a good monsoon. Boogies, huh? When I was little, I used to hear stories about boogies. Boogie men. That's us. But the boogie men were supposed to be horrible. Why would that be based on you, boogies? May I call you boogies? Is that politically correct? Our forefathers were ferocious pirates who looted goods and cargo, doing away with anyone who stood in their way. Oh, well, that makes sense then. Several months ago, a neighboring Boogie's tribe much like this one attacked a boat for goods, killed everyone aboard. That wasn't very nice of the neighboring Boogie's tribe. Yes, well, in retrospect, they're sorry. I'm praying for wind to help us sail, or food to help feed us, or else maybe dancing priests to help distract us. That's an odd request. Uh, didn't you meet any Pisces ashore? Their presence is important at many events. To ensure fertility, they dance themselves into delirium, often inflicting injury to show how entranced they are. Funny, where I'm from, to ensure fertility, we just use manure. For a dying shark. Perhaps my sorrow would not be as great if my entire sharkhood were on man's dinner plate. But to wound a great shark, not for meat, not for skins, but for only an item as small as his fins. It dishonors the code which the food chain hath writ. If only I had strength, sure, I'd pitch a huge fit. How tragic. Great shark? I promise I'll get your fins back for you, or my name isn't Pink Panther. Much obliged, Pink Panther. <coughs> Never know when a barnacle will come in handy. That is the tail and fin of a great shark. Why in the world would anyone cut off the fins and tail of a shark? The answer is quite simple. Money. Money? It just seems so cruel. We got a lot of money for such items. Never know when a burlap sack will come in handy. Hi, I'm a banded sea snake. I have enough venom in my body to knock out 70 grown men. I'm the most poisonous snake in the world. Ha ha ha! There's an old Irish proverb that says, There's hope from the sea, but none from the grave. Hope this venomous snake won't chomp a pink knave. Yikes! That moray eel looks hungry. Those sharp teeth are frightening. Maybe I should offer him a delicious snack food so he won't snack on me. What you got? Uh, baked goods? Sounds scrumptedlyicious. Hey, I lost a tooth! Sorry, Charlie. Do you know how expensive dental work is down here underwater?
this. You've got a boogies. This pot looks kind of empty. These boogies must be hungry. Say, you boogies, I think there's enough here for everyone. Lucky for you, barnacles would make a great soup when you haven't eaten. Delicious! Best barnacles I ever tasted! And now that the soup is ready and the barnacles are nice and warm, maybe they won't notice if I pocket some shark fins. Delicious! As you'd promised, I am an able shark again, free to devour sea creatures whole and play my vital role in the food chain. It's my job, you know. Perhaps I'll become a vegan. You know, one of those people who won't eat dairy. Or maybe you can help me now. I'm stuck on that sailboat and there's no wind. Perhaps you could give me a lift? I'm a changed fish with a big heart. I'll be glad to help you. I'm an orangutan, an anthropoid. The orangutan is an endangered species. There are only 5,000 of us left living in the wild. Orangutan means man of the jungle. I don't suppose you're the... never mind. Hi, I'm a tiny tarsier. I'm a nocturnal prosimium with big old eyes that I can't move around. But not to worry, I can swivel my head 180 degrees so I see everything that's coming or going. Are you the carrier of the human soul? No, I'm a tiny tarsier. Are you listening or what? I think there are birds sealed in that tree. When you gotta go, you gotta go. I wonder what this means. Oh, hello. You found our message stick. Let me teach you how to read it. These curls indicate that there are four of us traveling. These shapes say that we've been traveling for two moons, two months. Any dyad, as they call us, knows how to read this. Something must have happened to the husband. He's not been back to the tree. 
We have been pushing food to them through the crack when they let us, but the hornbill must break open the nest for itself from the inside. They've not seen his beak pushing through the hole, so they are afraid to come out. I am too weak to walk. I am starving. It has been days since I've eaten. You sure do have a lot of body art. It is a Dayak tradition to mark every important event with a tattoo. My mom would freak. I wasn't even allowed to get my ear pierced. You wouldn't be the carrier of the human soul by any chance? Do I look like a horde bill to you? My people believe that it is the legendary hornbill that is the carrier of the human soul, the most sacred of birds. To Dragon Island, as you wish. from my book of knowledge. You better get out of here. Save yourself, you hear me? Unless you want to get eaten by one of those disgusting dragons. I hate dragons. The sign says all the dragons are that way. Only the ones who are looking for a handout from the tourists. The dragons roam free all over this island. Uh, it's a tourist trap. <laughs> Oh no, it's over. Guidance for me. You'll never get this ham sandwich. Little pig, little pig. Let me live. Not by the toxic saliva on my flickering yellow tongue.
some view. Hi, Linda. What are you doing? I'm getting ready to have a ham sandwich, you fool. Now get lost. You know, the tourists are giving out dead goats over there. Just because they want to watch us feed. Sure is a lot easier than chasing around some nervous ham sandwich. I am not like you domesticated sellouts. I am a fierce female dragon, capable of laying 30 eggs in one sitting. <laughs> Enjoy the hunt of my prey, and in case you forgot, Komodo dragons are also cannibals. Now scram before I devour you. Now, where was I? Snake! Poisonous snake! Run! Run away! Run away! Retreat! Was it something I said? That was a close call. Thanks a lot. Here, allow me to say thanks. What's this? What do you think? It's the coveted ham sandwich. Wow. Thanks a lot. Hey, it's no skin off my back. I thought it was... Never mind. <laughs> The Jungles of Borneo! Would you be interested in a ham? Maybe if I wiggle this hornbill at them, they'll think it's the husband bird and come out. Amazing! Spiritual! We would like very much to commemorate this event with a tattoo. I have the roots needed to make the stain. Now we just need something sharp to hook to a stick. as a token of our appreciation. Thanks. We must continue our wandering. Here, Hornbill. Here, little carrier of the human soul. I'm not gonna hurt ya. <coughs> Try nesting in here, why don't ya?
swell job, friend. Here, take this for your troubles. Cheers. Oh, I'm only a cartoon character, I don't. Now, Flip, you won't get your pigeon until you finish your liver. Yes, you're the only one still on appetizers, Flip. Step it up a bit. I'm just savoring every last bite. I'd sooner drink llama bean juice than eat some poor thing's liver. It's barbaric. <laughs> I'd sooner drink llama bean juice than eat some poor thing's liver. It's barbaric. Say, Flip, I'll trade you a bottle of this imported bubbly for your liver. Liver? You want my liver? Not your liver, your loose liver. Your spare. Oh, right. You've got a deal. Is this liver from a steer? Thank you. Now I can celebrate my child's birth without weakening my cattle. Soon we will leave to better pastures. Hey, honey, the pink panther brought us a big hunk of liver. He is so thoughtful. Thank you again. I saw what a nice thing you did. So why do you look so sad? A very young girl has fallen ill. She can't wake up. This is a terrible tragedy. Children are the bright moon. May I suggest a chant? Olapa, Oibor, Inkera. What does it mean? Children are the bright moon. Oh. Perhaps if you plead these words to the red god, he will show mercy. You see, there are two gods. The black god and the red god. The red god is malicious and the black god is good. The black god lives close to man 
and the red god lives above him. You're a redhead in a sense. You just taught me a plea, sort of. What was it again? Well, it's not really a plea. It's more of an old Maasai proverb. Trust me, by the time I get done with it, it'll be a plea. What was it? Olapa Oibor in Kera. Olapa Oibor in Kera. Olapa Oibor in Kera. Thanks. You've helped more than you know. Panther, we need to wake Violet. A feather from the Soul Carrier, for good measure. Ahem, my instructions also called for a redhead's woeful plea. I got that woeful chant from a redhead, literally. Well, keep chanting, and you, keep dancing. Why isn't this working? Don't you have to say some magic spell or something? Wally sicky some girls, welly wickled others, cast the magic boopsie bop, open up them shutters! It, it, it's hard to explain. All the while I felt like there was some mysterious and magical force helping me along. I'm on my own and I can't make the magic happen. You've got to keep trying, Nathan. For Violet's sake. I can't. I'm no good. <laughs> I don't think the potion's potency is perfect, partner. I might need some vegetables to make this a complete, well-balanced spell. I don't think the potion's potency is perfect, partner. I might need some vegetables to make this a complete, well-balanced spell. You handsome devil! Looks like mom's cooking. Yuck! <laughs> Hi, Violet. Enjoy your nap? Hang in there, little buddy. It won't be long now. Okay, Skipper. <laughs> 